Have you ever wondered how multi-billionaires or billionaires buy and sell financial assets in the financial markets? What do you think? Do they have millions of dollars in their trading accounts and do they place the orders? Well, not really. Most HNIAs and other large institutions usually trade through banks and these banks have trading desks set up for such purposes. If you are a financial market enthusiast, then you should watch this video until the end. It will be interesting. Hello guys, this is Shweta and welcome to the world of Wall Street Mojo. What is a trading desk? A trading desk would be a bank or financial institution department that buys or sells financial assets on behalf of clients. These financial assets could include anything, be it stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, crypto, etc. In the simplest sense, one could say that the trading desk is the eyes and ears of the HNIs in the financial markets. The trading desk would comprise expert traders with vast knowledge about the mechanisms of the markets and they know how to get the best prices for their clients. It isn't easy to click a button and buy or sell shares or anything else in the financial markets for several million dollars. Issues like spreads, liquidity and volatility must be taken care of. The trading desk may also help clients structure products provide investment opportunities or smooth trade facilitation and capital flow among parties. What do they get in return? Commissions. These commissions could be very lucrative too. How do trading desks work? So a trading desk in a bank or other financial institutions may operate just as an office or on a trading floor. There will be several desks with multiple monitors on each desk. It's just like how they show trading desks in movies and all. Traders on trading desks may specialize in one market segment like equities, fixed income, forex, commodities, etc. And they may even get licenses from regulators. They usually do this through market makers and other electronic trading mechanisms to find the best price for the clients. Usually on a trading desk, some handle clients and others only work on executing trades. It becomes very important for everyone on the trading desk to work in tandem to achieve optimal performance. Advantages 1. Ease of market evaluation Clients may not have the time to spend in the financial markets. The trading desk can fulfill this role for them. They can be the client's eyes and ears in the market and help them carry out their trading activities. Two. Structuring financial goods Sometimes the client may spot some good opportunities but there aren't any suitable product they can trade to capitalize on. So here, the trading desk can develop tailor-made financial products for the clients which may help the client make a lot of money. Number 3. Advisory Services Trading desks will have financial market experts and these people can also advise clients concerning new opportunities or may warn them about any potential risk exposures. This sure is an advantage to the clients as they get a holistic service. Number 4. Cost Reduction When millions of dollars are traded, there are many costs that can eat up profits like spreads and all. Trading desks know how to navigate the market and get the best deals for the clients, thus saving them money. Number 5. Enhanced Profitability This is the most obvious advantage of all the other advantages of the trading desk. Clients would only trade through a trading desk if they could deliver better results. Disadvantages With all the advantages of trading desks, there are a couple of disadvantages too. Trading desks usually aren't completely transparent. There is limited transparency when evaluating performance, conducting analysis and improving strategies. There have been also issues of related party transactions that clients usually are apprehensive of these desks are at times controlled by third parties. The related party transaction behaviors have led to issues like the client finances are not being used as directed among many other issues. Finally, the trading desks provide services that are not free and clients must pay commissions. 
even if the client does not make money on any trade they still have costs that need to be paid up so yeah that's a disadvantage this was all for this video on trading desk we hope you learned a lot don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel